Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. My pleasure. My pleasure. I've known you guys for a very long time. I'm just happy to see that you guys are so successful. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. <clears throat> we appreciate having you here. Uh, you know, uh, let's keep it real. Let's have a real conversation. Uh, wouldn't have sure. it any other way. Absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of people want to know your story, including ourselves, how you started, and how did you get to where you are right now? I got bitten by the martial arts bug when I was a kid, slapped around, you know, from the hierarchy as a little boy growing up. Grew up in an era that was, as most people know, Park X back then was a really, really, really tough time, especially for first generation Greeks having coming into uh, this community. And, and why pancreation? A lot of people don't know what pancreation is. Yes. Right? If you could Pan please explain the art around it. Pancreation means all skills, you know, all encompassing powers. Now, back then that meant that you used your body in its entirety, it, 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 as a whole, in, you know, to meet uh, any type of uh, any type of assault coming at you. So that meant from the striking, being the whole body, fists, uh, elbows, clawing, uh, <clears throat> uh, the entire the entire body was uh, for the taking. Hence, they had to develop you know tactics and the entire body in general. Uh, to the grappling, which was uh, slight, which was completely different from the wrestling back then, because there were strikes that were involved. Now, once that goes in there, everything changes, right? So that's what it meant for them. Now, back then, they were extremely, extremely well trained, uh, having done uh, quite a bit of history and research on it. Uh, these guys, the hence why they're revered today, because there were no weight categories, there were no rules in in real life. Not as a sport, where a sport there was no uh, there was no eye gouging, there was no fish hooking, and there was no uh, biting. Mm -hmm. In real life, everything was included. They trained for it. They trained to defend against that. So they were very and, and they they accentuated you know complete physical and mental training. Now this was part of the uh, Aristotelian, Socratic, and Pla you know, Platonic schools. Uh, pancreation, you know, those that had the luxury to be able to, to, you know, to partake in these schools, to be a part of those schools, uh, pancreation, they considered it the end result of the human being. Hence, uh, from one spectrum, to, uh, one spectrum to the other, I can be cerebral, I can think, hence, I can go to the other side of the spectrum and I can fight. Now, these guys were so very well educated that they, re they knew that, you know, <clears throat> the mind played a bigger role than, the, than, the, than anything else. They would kill you, you know, verbally in a very eloquent way without having to use curse words, you know, before they can actually do physical damage to you. So they were very, and there was also morals, a moral understanding behind pancreation too, as there's a lot of stories where you have, uh, you know, high-end pancreatius, well-renowned pancreatius, you know, going out there and seeking uh, criminals, you know, that were, that were targeting civilians. Mm -hmm. So you see, there is the moral and ethical side to it, you know, that, that, that was studied, as well as you know, which, which kind of like, you know, went down into the other martial arts as well. You know, be it the Chinese or the Japanese. I mean, he who yields the power has to show humility, right? I mean, nothing worse than somebody with power, you yes. know, taking it out on the public because that's just called terrorism, you know, so. Personal development, okay. Here's a question. How important is it in career, personal, and um, how important is it to have it in your mind on a daily basis around your family, kids? So is growing important, if you know what I mean. Personal development. You know, if we lived 70 years ago where the information that is out there today to help us understand ourselves and the way we function was not around, we would probably live by the standards by, in our traditions, which some were great, you know, and, but others, vic, you know, to one extent, a lot of people were victims of circumstances, okay? It was 
the last thing they thought about because they were so embedded in what they were doing and because there were wars, there were this and how many came out great after wars back then, you know, to function, to build families and so on and so forth. You know, they just lived their life. Human behavior has been dissected, you know, th through the psychology fields to the T. We need not know new methods. We need to be reminded of how we function, mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay? Uh, although there have been changes within the psychology in terms of different type of characters, be it aggressive characters and, uh, and normal uh, characters, you know. Today we have the ability to find out what is it that makes me not want to, want to live a better life. And better life I'm not talking about where I have a Ferrari in mind or I have that house in mind. But to say I want to feel comfortable and not feel that I'm stumped and I feel stumped to want to get out of whatever rut I'm in because the difference between, uh, you know, I love this saying, the difference between a rut and the grave is their dimensions. You know, most people die at 25 and get buried at 75. That's one of my other favorite sayings, you know, and I've put that meme up on my Facebook page, I don't know how many times. And what is it that causes it? And we had that conversation earlier where fear, but now we know how to get through that. We know how to get past that. And most people, get, and this is the irony, uh, irony or the paradox actually but we have so much information out there to help us become better to teach our kids to become better to function better to not succumb to the fears that that are imposed on them uh, that are instilled in them or that they have in them you know with everything that they encounter in life and I and I push my kids and my students go out and meet the different people out there learn to say no it develops your character meet ha meet that thing head to head don't jump in the fire move around the fire, but if the fire keeps growing, we'll figure out a way to get through it. Just don't turn your back if that's where you want to go, yeah. you know? We have that information today. Personal growth for me would have been, you know, and for me as a martial artist, it was all about personal growth because you learn as a martial artist first and foremost. Discipline that's what and The discipline, discipline is a given no matter what, but you, the first thing you learn is uh, you, you need to put your ego out, on the, out, out at the door because if you're going to grow, you have to stop lying to yourself. You have to tell yourself, this is what I'm afraid of, this is where I'm weak, and this is where I need to challenge myself. Once you stop challenging yourself, and Aristotle said it right, I think it was Aristotle that says, it is a shame for any one human being to not have realized their full bodies and minds potential before they die. Hence, going back to the many people die at 25 and they get buried at 75. You know, we're not saying get out there and get rich, but you want to live a happy life because today victim, victimhood has, you know, is taking precedence. People are finding more reasons to be victims because it's nice to sit in your little bubble and find excuses as opposed to reasons. Um, so, Iris, uh, what is your, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years, what is, do you have a goal that's bigger than yourself? That's a good question. Uh, I'll give it to you in a very practical sense, you know. Number one, I want to see my kids very successful. It's not only about me. I want to see my kids very successful. I want to I wanna, I wanna know that there's, as there is now, and there continues to be many kids and individuals, adults as well, that come through my school to benefit you know, from what I teach. And it's not the martial arts. The martial arts is a, is a byproduct. We do a lot of dialogue in the school. There's a lot of dialogue at the end of the class, in the middle of a class, and I pertain and relate to everything in life within what we do. Because it's not about just the leg moving or the arm moving, it is about what we encounter in general. So I'd like to see the school, you know, I'd like to see more and more people actually, <clears throat> you know, benefit from it and, and acknowledge that. Uh, I'd like to, I'm happy with the way that the school is going to get huge for me. Something that it will ruin my quality of life is not something that I, I, I that, that, that inspires me. I still want to have my quality of life. I want to be able to have the time to reflect, to be there for my kids. You know, when I can, my kids are going, they're 20 and 22, but I want to be, I want to be there for them in the best way I possibly can and that which I'm allowed to. Um, I want to see hopefully maybe another because i've been prompted to do another school in uh towards the west island and i have a huge following in the states and in toronto i'm not sure whether i want I, I'm, I'm ready to go in that direction it is it is playing that's in terms of being able to expand out there but it's the philosophy behind there mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> and the experience that i think that i've gained over the years as a normal humble individual you know as a human being and to be able to say that 10 20 years down the line 
that I've been able to be a part of so many people's lives, not for a year, and even for a year is great, but because I have so many that have started out with me at three years old and now are in their late teens, some in, some in their 20s. Yes, I don't look like 104, but hey, you know, training does wonders, you know, and my mother's genes. So I want to know that these people can look back and say, and not for the sake of glory, but to know that I've been a part of their lives because it is insane, it is in, in, incredible to know that other than my own kids' lives, I've had such a positive influence on so many of these individuals' lives where they will call me, text me on a daily basis and say this, this, and that. And it is absolutely great karma, you know, to know that I've touched them in a positive way that they too were able to get to where they wanted to go. Even if it was from here to just across the street, but to do it, feeling great and knowing themselves better see to acquire stuff is one thing to know oneself is the ultimate in the end hence why in every race you know especially in the you know in the oracle of delphi on the entrance it says you know you know know thyself you know yourself better you know it doesn't matter what you have around it knows what you can make when you want to make it it knows where you know where you're going you know who you are you know what makes you what intimidates you what you know, that is the most important thing. So to know that, aside from maybe having an extra school here and there, a small little center somewhere around. Virtual online. <clears throat> virtual too. I, I do that already, you know. So I already do that. But for me, it's mostly what other, you know, the, the quality I've given to other people to help to, to aug increase other people's quality of lives. To touch other people in a positive way. For me, that's growth. I mean, if I was to die today, I'd say, you know, it's something I did the best I, po I possibly do with my, uh, my kids. I've had an amazing life being a part of so many people's lives, from kids to see them grow into adults, where they still consider me family. They're still in my school. You know, that to me is huge. In terms of success, as long as it doesn't screw the quality of life for me, you know, because I think there has to be a balance of everything. You know, that, that would be great. Let's say, obviously, social media is huge. Uh, you have some following. You have a big following on you know, social media. For the people that want to follow you, will follow your success story, your, um, where can they follow you? Instagram? Instagram. Facebook, Ar yeah, Instagram It's under Armac Pancreation or look, look up Aris Macris. Uh, Facebook, too. It's, you know, Spartan Academy. Uh, or my uh, people want to follow me more personally than, and you know, and they, while they do follow my professional page, it's kind of like they, they also want to tag onto my personal page, which I don't mind either. You know, I, I'm selective with who I put on, but you know, I don't mind that either. Um, and uh, my um, my website, which is uh, pancreationcanada.com, you know, so my YouTube channel under Aris Macris or Pancreation now, my podcast and stuff like that, uh, you know. You want to see the zaniness of, uh, you know, the comfort and zaniness of my life? Get on my Facebook page, you know, more or less. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this content and want more content, uh, follow us on social media, uh, Instagram. Um, we have a Facebook page, The Nick and Jimmy Show. Our YouTube channel, The Nick and Jimmy Show. And if you know a few individuals that would appreciate this content, tag them, share and share, share, share.